Hey guys, I'm Easy Cash and welcome back to another video. And for today's video, I'm not gonna do a reaction video, but I want to share with you guys what happened to me this morning. And my main goal is like to withdraw money. And that's it. I, I withdraw money like every two weeks um, since the ECQ started. But um, this morning, things became crazy. And it upset me in a bit, but it went well. And okay, here it is. It's gonna be a long walk from our condiment. But I'll be taking you with me for a change, you guys. Alright. It's not that hot yet, it's just something we like 6 a.m. But give 30 minutes, it's gonna be scorching hot. Let's go. And right, we're out of the village. And now we're gonna walk a kilometer away from our condominium to just do with raw money. Alright. Almost like not halfway there yet. Well, people are coming out probably the wedding mode. Some essentials also. Because here in Montana Lupo we have like a window hour from 6 a.m. to 12 noon, and it's the only time we can go out. But it's so hot. It's really hard to breathe in this mask. And then walk. It feels like you're hiking. <laughs> it's like going up. And it's really scary at the same time to just to leave the car down or like the vicinity of your condo. So we have to do it. That's how far we'll go. Here we are now beside this village. And hopefully the lion at the I'm actually running out of breath. I have no idea if I can too much. This is just easy key thing, but... Well... We have to do what we have to do, right? Alright, tough luck. Guard said TDM is offline since yesterday. So I don't know what to do. Um probably gonna walk walk around and find an ATM nearby, which I doubt it there's some ATM nearby here in this area. But well there's nothing we can do but walk. earlier but they just walked off. 
Oh my god, there's not much here to anymore. You know how long you're around if you like I had this big insight. Like this is all my territory and there's a lot of all cars like passing through and I'm not used to that anymore. I mean you see like the past few months we've been on quarantine and, and I'm used to like quiet street. Not like this. I don't know what people are doing out right now. It seems like on an ordinary day. This can't be safe. Alright guys. meters away and I hope I really hope the bank is open or the Canadian machine is working because I walk all the way from there all right I can see marketplace and this is the East Bay condo I have some friends with them here, living here actually and we're going right there at marketplace Sad to say, it's also off the line. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Well, still have a little bit of cash at home, but it's not enough. And I'm out. Well, I'll do you in a bit. I have to think. Hey guys, we're not getting any love until we find an EDM machine. We have to cross it. Sukkot Interchange, we're gonna do it. Since I'm already out, let's make the most out of it. Even though I'm so pissed off. So let's go. Alright, we're crossing. Sukkot Interchange, and I'm gonna find another ATM machine that works. Well, this is. Sell a super highway, or sell a on Expressway. We're on the other side of Sukhot Road. I hope Blooms is open. There's no line. I hope some ADM is open. But oh, guys, it's hard not to have a car. Well, what's good about this is that I had uh, work. Blooms and thank god there's a few people right here. It's a long walk. Should have gone here and just like traveling all the way today. East to the west. Well, thank god. <laughs> I'm on the fur and I'm not anywhere I'm going to do, but I know what the rule is here. But thank god that I'll be going in. Right, I already got cash and it's time to go home. Probably I'll give you a little like condo tour in a bit. Late, I mean later when I get home. But as of right now, I think I'm not gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk. It's been it's a long walk for me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, the past few minutes, check it. And we're on the way to our condo. And as I'm walking, I realize that there's some things that you can't control. I mean, we're lucky to live in that place since you have like, you know, the blessing system. But people around us like this, I really feel bad. It's kind of hard for them. But you just imagine.
I'm sorry for the audio guys and also the stabilization of the camera because it just whipped out my GoPro. It's my only plan is like to get my GoPro and film whatever to withdraw money while walking and see what happens and just to make content about it. And it ended up very bad. <laughs> like I walked from like our condominium to the place I usually withdraw, which is like like 500 meters away from here, and it end up I walk around like four or five kilometers until just just to withdraw money. It is a crazy experience, but I learned a lot from it, and I gained a lot of patience because at first I'm having anxiety, I'm having panic attacks, like where where will them go, and it's like I don't know what to do since all ADMs are offline near my area and so I just go for it and it didn't stop me for choosing what to go for today like to withdraw money for me and my siblings mm, it was quite an adventure and at the same time it's sad because like on while walking like on the way to all the areas that I'm not really used to like I don't really go to I saw a lot of like um, not beggars, but they are like um, people without any um, home. Like on the overpass, they have like this kettle. They have pots there. Like they practically live there. They don't have a place to live. And it's morning, and they were like preparing breakfast, and we were. I was just walking through them. It was like it. It is so awkward, and at the same time, it breaks my heart seeing them like. Uh, super dirty and like they're out in the public and out on the streets without any mask. They didn't wear any mask. You're not wearing any mask. I'm a bit mad about it as well because what is the government doing? I mean, come on. Um, I saw the poor areas around my, my, my around the condominium. It is so sad because I see one old lady on the window and she was like looking at me while I was walking and I could, I could see the sadness on her face and at the same time I see kids um, also on the sides but you're not outside their houses but inside the house but I know there's like it's they're sad in a way like are they, in my mind, I was like thinking, are they eating something or, like, oh, I'm at this, uh, it's summer and at, at this kind of heat that we're experiencing right now, I don't know how they can cope with that. If probably if I'm in their shoes, I would die. I mean, God, I, I, I don't want to cry, but it's really heartbreaking. Yeah, and I'm. So so blessed and I'm so lucky to have this life. So guys, if you have um, roofs on your head and food to eat and stuff like that, consider yourself lucky or blessed because what I've experienced earlier, it's really tough. Tough for me emotionally. I mean, already, I don't know if they're eating or eat once a day or something like that. I have no idea. Well, thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching. And guys, stay safe. Much love. Peace. <clears throat>